How different can two bottles of Buffalo Trace really be? We're about to find out. Hello and welcome back to the channel and yes today I'm going to be finding out whether the US version of Buffalo Trace is indeed better than the UK version and if that actually makes it worth it. Now last year I did a video titled something to the effect of is Buffalo Trace worth the hype testing this very bottle to find out if it was worth all of the hype that I've been hearing about online particularly surrounding its availability in the US. In effect a lot of people in the US can't actually easily buy Buffalo Trace right now although it still regularly sells at its normal price it's just a lack of availability you're only allowed to buy so many bottles at once and that sort of thing. I just didn't really get it because we can swing into any supermarket here pick up a bottle of this easy peasy no problem you can have as many as you want in the comments of that video though a lot of people were very willing to tell me that i got my facts wrong and that buffalo trace was 45 percent abb or 90 proof and not the 40 percent or 80 proof i had claimed it to be and well we were both right actually the uk version is only 40 percent or 80 proof meanwhile the us version is 45 percent or 90 proof which well is likely to make a not insignificant difference now i know five percent doesn't sound like a massive amount but actually as whiskey is watered down the more it's watered down and then stored you can tend to break down some of those more intricate flavors and just given how excited everyone was for it over in the US I thought I better get a bottle of the real stuff to find out for sure. Now then I should point out that I didn't actually have this bottle imported myself from a US store. This is actually a store pick from a UK store, but on our store picks we do get it at the proper 90 proof. Because it's a store pick, and to be honest that's quite a rare thing in the UK, there is the potential for this bottle to be slightly better than the regular stuff available in the US, but well this is the closest comparison I can really get. So what are the differences just from the bottles? Well they look pretty much identical from here, although you will notice that well one of them's had the label added on slightly squiffily and I think that's uh, actually the, uh, the the US version it seems to be a bit flat and the the bison is um, or the buffalo rather obviously what are you an idiot sandwich uh, is on on the wonk a little bit but otherwise they look pretty similar however if we turn these round you notice the UK version has the big UK duty stamp thing on the back there whereas the US one where are we there we go, has a big blank space. And if I take a closer look at those, there is some slightly different information. Obviously it says that it's 45% and one is 40%. The import has a import little label on it, if you can see that there, imported by High Spirits. And actually there is a UK stamp on it, but it's a separate sticker. I don't know why they didn't just put it on the back there where the other one was, but is what it is. And of course, because it is a store pick, it has got single barrel select from distillers direct which is where this bottle came from so yes it's a single barrel it could be a little bit better i know but as i say this is the closest comparison so let's find out good sound right then i have accidentally poured slightly more of the us version but never mind but in the glass it is a little bit darker. I mean, it should be because of that ABV difference, but I didn't expect it to be quite that noticeable. It's a significantly deeper, richer gold color. The UK version looks just a little bit more yellowed somehow. Yeah, I mean, they look the same because they are effectively the same, but yeah, definitely a touch darker from the US side. Right then, the aromas. It smells so good then. Even the poultry 40% 80 proof version, like it's just got a nice caramel a few soft fruity notes got a lovely bit of spice to it as well slightly oaky just soft enough though it always smells very good indeed right then us version i'm excited for this how different can it possibly be now it got poor second and i've only just opened the bottle it does feel a little closed off now move it around in the glass try and try and tell me your secrets whiskey you'd like to know my secrets would you okay it's opening up now it's definitely less sweet, got more oak tannins in there, a bit raisiny perhaps, I wasn't really picking up on the other one. The caramel and toffee notes are all there but they're much more squashed down, much less sweet, much less open. It, it does feel a bit closed off but again I think it's just because that's just been opened but let's take a sip of that original UK version. Cheers. 
it is still good, you know. It really is. Sweet, vanilla, woody, bit of apple maybe. Like it's not sweet berry fruit, but it's not like proper citrusy either. Kind of like, you know, green apple, crunchy apples. I've never really noticed before. It's got, it's got serious legs on it. Proper oily, viscous. I can feel it in my mouth. Yes, it's definitely fresher and younger than, well, a lot of the other Buffalo Trace products, but it's still got that quality vibe to it. It's really very nice indeed. Right then, on to the US version. But first, hold on. Cleanse the palate. Cheers. Well, I'll be damned. That, that is better. And I say that, with it still being a bit closed off. It definitely isn't letting all of its flavor out, but I can tell immediately the oak is more intense, but it's still not over the top. It's not harsh. There might even be some leather tannins creeping through. That is something you get in generally the more mature whiskey and got a bit more burn, a bit more bite, more fruity notes. It's the, the flavors are the same, don't get me wrong, but it's just so much more full body. There's more to go at, there's more, a kind of the, the flavors are kind of just stretched out but not diluted if that makes sense like you get to appreciate all the all of the flavors for more of the time in either just as much intensity and in a lot of cases way more it is just well five percent yes i know it's a barrel pick so it's likely that someone tried this one oh yeah we really really like that one it is slightly different you know, it's maybe this one's maybe a little bit less fruity, a little bit more oaky, but ultimately that 5% seems to be making well, quite a massive difference. So probably unsurprisingly, yes, the US version is better. I kind of had no doubt, but I wasn't quite sure how much better it was going to be. And look, the regular is still an absolutely solid choice. If you've got a bottle and you're thinking, should I not have bought it? No, you should, because this is available in our supermarkets for like 25 quid. Barrel picks, which is the only way you get that 45% version, well, they can be up towards double that, at least around the 40 quid mark. I'll put some actual prices in on screen now so you can understand the difference. But um, I know the Distillers Direct, I think this was from when I bought it from. Yeah, Distillers Direct, they do one. I believe the Whiskey Shop sometimes have their own, not all the time, obviously, um, and a few others. So they are available in the UK. But yeah, kind of few and far between, unfortunately. But if you see one, you can always look out for that 45% tag because, yeah, it is just a different beast. So there you have it. This is probably a shorter video and probably unsurprisingly because ultimately I was just going to compare two things that were almost identical to work out which one was better. And, well, the one we kind of knew that was going to be better was indeed better, but actually by more than I thought. I was kind of expecting to sit here and tell you that, yes, I would rather drink the US version, but it's just a little bit better or five percent better as you might say but it's not it is a bigger step up it's kind of in the realm of kind of 10 to 20 percent better as a product in my opinion like that's how much more i'm enjoying it and i already really enjoyed the standard one be very interested to put this up against eagle rare and maybe even some of the other higher spec uh, buffalo trace products to see how it fares because all of a sudden at that proof point it does feel like it's walked in the room and gone oh yeah this is this is the real deal now it feels much more akin to eagle rare the h taylor stuff like that of course it's now closer in terms of abv but actually the experience as a whole the mouthfeel the array of flavors it is just that much better and that really is all i've got to say about it so as always thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video please like it if you haven't already subscribed if you will be so kind and i'll catch you next time cheers